the sun is giving and the moon and everything else is receiving. The moon and the body, the earth is receptive. These are the meanings of the, these words, hatha, hatha yoga. This, if you, we're doing postures, we're doing hatha yoga. There's ancient words. So hatha yoga was like the mother's milk of the, of the tantras. It's the practice that you can actually do that is your um, participation in reality as it is, in life as it is. Most of humanity is still in that grip of, <clears throat> of this strength to the ignorance of receptivity. And uh, yoga will turn this on its ear. You know, we, st we don't have our palaces like this anymore, but we do have the Taj and the Oberoi and, and the Trump. And you know, we still have this funnel <clears throat> of resource that goes up. To, you know, so nothing's really changed. It's just that the, um, the conversation has changed. The, the, we now have a dialogue in this world that wasn't there before. Uh, that certainly wasn't there even in my parents' generation. Nobody was saying anything like this. <laughs> you know? In my parents' generation, my mother was still second to my father in profession, career, as a school teacher and so forth. So this dialogue is now on. <laughs> the light is on <laughs> in this dark world of misogynism where we live as if strength is the only value, as if acquisition is the only value. Uh, and that has been based on this matter of uh, religious ideologies of getting to a future state, getting to God. You know, <clears throat> in the denial of life as it is and the denial of the feminine as she is, has been the universal methodology of religious doctrine. And yoga, as it's been popularized in this world, has just been plugged into that thought structure. You know, what we're doing as yoga in this world in the popular systems is just more of the same. The yoga is just another uh, theater of this misogynism. And they ripped away the actual yogas out of the, what has been popularized as yoga. And this is what we're here to put back in place. When you do this practice, that's what you will be doing, <laughs> participating in reality as it is, the natural state of all life. And you will feel good. <laughs> you will feel better. And you will feel better. You make strength stronger. <laughs> more durable, more intelligent when strength receives. And I mean literal asana. The great, you know, the hatha yoga from the ancient world, strength that is utterly receptive, makes their strength stronger and more discerning, more flexible, and more durable, uh, healthier, longer life, <laughs> and receptive of all relatedness including their intimate partners. Be it same-sex or opposite-sex intimacy, able to receive, and that's the gem of uh, what life, what this yoga offers. So, anyway, please excuse me if I get a little bit... Um, poetic or uh, <clears throat> uh, exaggerated. But I can tell you, I just want to confess, this is how I really feel. <laughs> you know, I really do feel that what I'm just saying to you is sort of what I want to say. And thank you for letting me say it. Strength receiving. 